we're back again. Yeah, I love the countdowns on YouTube, don't you? The countdowns. Let's do it. Okay. It's the Harvey J Show. Harvey J Show. Harvey J Show. What's up, yes. man? Not a whole Good lot. to see you. We're back again. We are back with the facts. And something but. Yes. I had to do it in my Halloween voice, this spooky ghost voice, because we're getting ah. closer and closer. <laughs> yeah, it is just getting spooky out now, too. <laughs> I got a nice sweet picture of the moon the other night. Looked okay. Nice and spooky. No filters, just straight big moon. Beautiful. Full moon in the clouds. That sounds awesome. Beauty shot. No, that's the type of season we're in. If you notice, you know, we're keep adding to the now there's some corn. And... Yeah, the corn is a beauty touch nice and oh, colorful so nice we're in such a beautiful Adds to time the, the bountiful harvest we have on the the desk here that's it which it's, i sad to hear i we may be losing i know this is my kitchen table <laughs> to oh. be honest with you we know we did our we did our shows <laughs> and stuff and um we're kind of test shooting right when we did right, our test right. and then we stay are with us we are still uh in our, our baby steps i guess in yeah our, it, you know slowly but surely are, yeah 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 and um I was just noting that we were sitting here before our shoot. Um, we we get to just sit and talk about things and and kind of be positioned. And but the production going on around us is pretty high tech. Like it is. We got a <laughs> lot of things going for just a little s- small podcast. Yeah, There's totally. a lot going on behind the scenes. Yeah, uh, it's my a good thing Troy. we have a technical team. That, yep, my cousin Artie. Top notch. Yes, they are top notch. It's crazy. It's a lot of um. You know, testing and, <laughs> and trying to get the, yeah. you know. I don't know nothing about nothing <laughs> other than you plug this into the wall or you unplug it. It's a Turn lot. it off or turn it on. Yeah, it's a lot of work. But yeah. I just want to thank those guys, you know, and say yeah, like, now we're getting this look better and better. I was saying now we're going to have to hire some um, makeup people so that uh, they can, you know. Yeah, either that or we're Halloween masks. <laughs> <all time. laughs> yeah, yeah, every episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, we're going to try and get a new desk and um, do some switching around our set a little bit. We like yeah. to we like to keep moving. We don't want to get stagnant, right? Yeah, so, so maybe if somebody out there has a desk they're wanting to get rid of. Or right, a, a real nice desk. A really desk. nice one that yeah. they want, they'd like to see get famous with us. Yeah, on. we could make it famous, and you yeah. could name it. Yeah. Name it. Call it Henry or Herman or whatever you want to call whatever. it. Whatever. And we'll put it right here. Yeah, yeah but we're on the lookout for a desk, so so I can get this back in my kitchen and uh, yeah, you know. so you can get back to eating and yep, eating sitting, at sitting the table. around yeah. it, you know, yeah. like it was intended. Right. So it's another week, and, and you know how this world turns on and on and on. Yeah, on. It don't stop for nobody. Matter of fact, we we got actually up 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 to date news on Land Back Lane, right? We do. Like uh, as of this morning, the developers said they were going in at 10 a.m. To continue to find the pipelines to dig for their sewer and gas lines. Right. When they were told no more construction until further consultation was exactly. done. But they keep persisting on coming in. They brought the OPP in. They were turned away with, you know, no aggression, but just told, you know, like, what the heck. Right. But, you know, what's a coincidence is that um, Skyler was supposed to be actually um, in court. Right. For the injunction, like the the court, the Supreme Court process, right? And um, so it just kind of seems like it's kind of odd timing that uh, the OPP would all of a sudden need to come on and, and hook up gas lines. Right, very right convenient. On the, yeah, right very on the same convenient. day that he, he's supposed to be there. At 10 o'clock even, which would probably be around the time exactly. he was supposed to be there. Representing the community. And so he, he didn't right. really get to say his side of the story. So the, the judge only heard literally... The, <laughs> Just one side of the story, right? From exactly. probably the OPP and the social, the boards that we were talking about, you know? Right, yeah, the biased OPP board. You who are hearing things from the community, so of course they're upset and frustrated, you know? We had the road shut down for 24 hours, right? Because of the, because of the, the treatment of people yeah. getting, like, armed. They're, like, didn't even do anything, and they're getting, like... Guns pulled on guns them. Guns pulled on them at groceries, grocery stores. Yeah. And to me, that is insane. That sounds like something, like, in Beirut or, like... Um, the war, war cities yeah, that are some, in war some right war now, right? And some wow. stuff. Yeah, people like, running up on you, pulling guns. Um, outrageous. For doing peaceful things and protecting the land. Like we said, it's not for, he didn't steal money and he's protecting right. $10 million. Right. It's he's, not like he robbed a bank or something. Yeah, it's not like he hurt harmed anybody. people or totally. kidnapped kids or something. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, he's just yeah. protecting the land. And he's exactly. only doing it on behalf of, like, the people that are there, too. They're unified. Like, the women and, and the people, you know, and... Um, 
So it's just kind of too bad that these kinds of tactics are used to kind of oppress our voice, right? Right. That, yeah. That's why we're here, Harv. It's always oppression on uh, their part on us. You know? Isn't it just so to, important why we're here, though? It is. Like, we're just trying to get the facts out there for the people so they yeah. know. And uh, We're not trying to um, skew anybody. We're just trying to actually present the facts as they right. are. And that's all we can do is um, just present the facts, and then people can make their own conclusions, right? That's right. That's right. Move forward with uh, your own conclusion. Yep. And we, we wanna... can only present what we have. Yep. Exactly. Uh, yeah, but anyways, um, since it's Halloween, um, we want help picking our Halloween costume. Remember we right, talked about right. last week? And we're seeing this real viral video of the guy with the Fleetwood Mac song. Okay, the yeah, dog the, face 420 guy. <laughs> that's it, that Nathan. Yeah, Nathan Apodaca. Apodaca. Yeah. Yeah, and I was thinking, man, <laughs> you, could, you could totally I, pull I'd that I'd have off. to get a bald thing because I, I don't think I'm ready to shave these locks. <laughs> I know. You could do one of those, you but know. I could, I'd, I'd get the bald wig thing. The bald thing. cat yeah. would be hilarious. And the cranberry juice would be real easy oh yeah i love cranberry juice especially cran raspberry it's kind of funny he kind of blew up out of nowhere because of just like his cool vibe you know like yeah and, but, and that fleetwood mac like it hits which is nice. a great song one of the oh, best yeah. dreams is like one of the best songs ever written oh yeah for yeah. sure and the vibe of him um cruising around drinking his cranberry. have you seen the jag meat one though yeah i've seen jag that one Sims and then i've seen one. the one um fleetwood mac did too yeah. um uh, Mick, Mick Fleetwood. Yeah, Mick yeah, Fleetwood. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. All and the then people... uh, the guy got a brand new truck given to him, and it was loaded with cranberry juice. From, and, uh, Ocean, from Spray. Ocean Spray. Yeah. Ocean Spray and um, a Nissan dealership. I'm not sure the name right now, but um, right. they give him a brand new 2021 Nissan Frontier and no. filled it with cranberry, that Ocean Spray, right? Yeah, nice. A nice gesture on their part. Like he, uh, Right. And it, it seems like he needs it too, because yeah, he, he seems like, like he was in a bit of a bad spot. He was in it, like, but he didn't. He's obviously was chill and cool about it. To be, you well, know yeah, what I mean? He was happy with living where he his was best at. life. It seems. So now he's getting all this awesome stuff happening just by him being cool and being himself. Isn't that a yeah, cool message? Yeah, good for him, man. So for Halloween costumes, though, yeah, we're still looking for those uh, suggestions. Yep. Um, I seen on the comments. Right, since from the we, last video, from our last video, like uh, some Sesame Street characters. <laughs> oh yeah, because we were I, doing the word of the, the oh, yeah, was it right? I could totally pull off an Oscar the Grouch. Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> and this you week's could. episode, yeah, you could. It is. is brought to you by the phrase "heckin' it." <laughs> exactly. Don't heckin' it. Oh heckin' it. <laughs> and, and for those of you, for those of you that don't know, oh heckin' it is just kind of like if you see in the movie Clueless, it's like as if, like come on. Oh heckin' it. <laughs> yeah, you know. But... Yeah. No, it's like when someone's like kind of like, you know, they're kind of exaggerating. You know, they're, yeah. they're kind of like. Uh, it's just a nice way to just say, come on now. Like you could say, uh, somebody could say, oh, I heard the Rebels are going to be pretty good this year. They'd say, oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, heck, and they're, they're, they're good every year. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> See, and that, yeah, that's a res conversation. That's right. right. For you. So if you listen to last week's episode, it was, oh, is it? This oh, one's is it? This is heck, heck and it. it. And <laughs> you're going to start building up your res yeah, slang. Yeah, expand be... that, that vocabulary. It's not just res. It's mostly six nay slang, but yeah. we'll, we'll use any res slang. Unified. Yeah. It's all about unity on the Harvard in, in the end, show. Yeah. Always. In the end, it's all about unity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, there's some crazy, crazy stuff. Like, we talked about uh, that popular viral stuff, but there's a bad video, like you said, the opposite, where uh, an indigenous woman yeah. filmed her last moments on um, on Earth. Ooh, yes. It um, be goosebumps which, to even say Yeah, that. it came to light just before our last podcast, actually. We right. didn't get to touch on it. Right. Joyce. Eshaquan? Eshaquan. Eshaquan, yeah. Yeah, Joyce an indigenous Eshaquan. woman. Yeah. Um, died at Joliet Hospital in Quebec. Mm -hmm. uh, what made it worse was the fact that she filmed her her final minute uh, right. of life, you know. Um, but she, in the background, she captured... Some racist remarks from the nurses. Right. And her, the caregivers, I say caregivers yeah. in parentheses because it didn't seem like they really gave a right. care for her. I guess uh, she came there with stomach problems, so she was there like with stomach problems and they didn't really care. They kind of just overdosed her with morphine, I guess. Yeah. And so when they did that, <clears throat> she started filming and we heard like remarks like because she had seven children, right? right. So they were kind of mocking her saying, oh, she's, at least we know she's good for sex. And right. 
like mocking you know yeah, possibly just, that she has a big family yeah, or just maybe some that racial she's, racial slurs yeah maybe insinuating she's from the streets type right. thing you know and um not only that, they're calling her stupid, and and then who do you think pays for this healthcare stuff like this yeah. when this girl's she's actually just passing, really discriminating things to actually say. Actually, passing huh? away, right? Yeah, like how disrespectful can some people be? Right. And, and then you want to go to the opposite spectrum of that. We've seen Donald Trump come down and Melania come down with not only Donald Trump, half the cabinet, right, come down with COVID nineteen. Yeah. And then look what right happened to him. He gets flown away to this private hospital with all the best treatment and and right. then look at what the indigenous person has to put up with like right. the, like it's it both happened at the same opposite time opposite ends of the spectrum basically yeah and that is so sad and unfortunate yeah. uh, those nurses got um fired but i hope they don't ever get a job in the field again i think i don't think that. they should be just fired i actually think there should be some kind of consequences yeah, for that legally kind of you know yeah some kind of fine or you know like because if you were hurt you were hurting and like even if i was cpr trained and i just let you die without trying to resuscitate you i think you know morally ethically ethically even you know right yeah like, you're i'm be held a little bit of responsible of some sort you would think right uh it's just a sad situation that yeah, um is. Like, we're living in 2020, man, and in, in Canada, and everyone's so proud of Canada, and there's a lot to be proud of, but you got to remember that it comes with a lot of sacrifice, and it's usually by Indigenous people that are, have to pay the is, price yeah. for people's freedom, for people's wealth, for people's uh, ability to wake up, have coffee. For their or, land. Or Starbucks. Where they live. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's really hard, and it's hard to keep talking about this kind of stuff, dude. But right. that, I think it's important because um, we need that indigenous perspective, and we need that information out there yeah. because we can't. It's something just... that's constantly going to be in, within our lives, anyways. Yeah. Until something is happening about it, yeah, we have to talk about it. Yeah, so we will talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so I just say like, who's ever in charge of that stuff? Just please, please have a lot of respect, and um, hopefully things will change for nurses. I I seen the nurses. Um, associations from Ontario and people uniting, like condemning those nurses. Yeah. So maybe things are changing, right? Yeah, slowly but surely people are awakening to some of our issues, I guess. But right, not enough people know, I guess, or not enough people care at, at this time and juncture. Yeah, at this particular juncture. Particular. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So yeah, um, and then also like since we're talking about disrespecting indigenous issues uh, we hear christina spears from the grand R- erie school board i had some crazy stuff oh, to man. say on facebook on orange shirt day of all things yeah i didn't ex- see the exact remarks but it had something to do with well if we give somebody a every every day everybody yeah, every day, a color everybody shirt day, is, then it's depressing yeah. for the kids and yeah. stuff then like what the heck she like, just totally minimal minimalized she's trying to take away from the actual impact of right. what this stuff happened and it kind of like the, flew right over her head the point of orange shirt day right, right right you know yeah she didn't if she didn't have if she didn't understand it and she condemned it that's the that's what we're trying to eliminate by having worn shirt day, exactly. isn't that? The, isn't yeah, that we're trying purpose? we're trying to raise the awareness and bring education, <laughs> yeah. and then she is in the education she's the exact system. Reason why we're doing yeah, it, like why it how, needs to be educated, you know. And she's in the she's making decisions on school curriculum, right? You know, teachers, right? Right. But so she I'm glad was, she was reprimanded. Quickly. She resigned. Yeah. Yeah. She's not a part of that anymore. Yeah. And so. she's she you know she's out there thinking she's like um, her freedom of speech is getting in stuff but you're allowed to say whatever you want in this that's what people don't understand freedom of speech is simply this you're allowed to say whatever you want but it doesn't make you free from the consequences of it right you right? gotta be accountable yeah if you're gonna say something at least back what you're gonna say up. yeah and then and, and just say like hey i said it i did it and right. i got fired reprimanded i'm never gonna get a job in school right. again yeah, and so no one's ever it. gonna touch so me yeah. forever but right. at least i stand by my morals but the morals is like why did you have to dig like, why did you have to go against that? I, yeah, like, just, yeah. Like, remember we were talking I, about fighting, right? <laughs> Again. Yeah, like, why, why pick a fight against that? What's the point when we're just trying to say, you know, like, let's stop this madness, you know? Right. Let's raise awareness and so this never happens again, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. Which is supposed to be the curriculum. They don't really teach that, though, right? They don't they, really teach the residential schools no, or don't. the traumas and effects of it, right? Like, not... Not that I know of. Maybe nowadays they may bring it into the high schools or the college system, but they're not teaching little kids that stuff. I know that for a fact. 
Uh, I was part of uh, Six Nations Community Youth Outreach for 20 years, you know, and we did the um, concert for a cure when we bring Johnny Lang down and stuff right. like that, right? And um, we did a lot of, like, theater um, productions, like, uh, and we trained a lot of the kids, you know, on reserve. We trained a lot of people and uh, bring, like, Salome Bay down to, t to teach mm. them, Daniel David Moses. We brought all these great mentors down um, for these youth. And one of those youth... Uh, is Phelan Johnson, who's just um, appointed of a real nice CBC podcast. It's called Unreserved. Yeah, did you hear Unreserved, that? Unreserved. She no. took over the host for Rosanna Deerchild was the former host, and she's moving on. And it was replaced by Six Nations Phelan Johnson. Awesome. Isn't that that's, cool? That's awesome. When any doing big things. Anybody from any indigenous communities. One hundred percent. But I thought that was well, pretty cool because I, I was there with her that, growing, yeah, yeah, watching you're, her you're, grow. You're and, a bit of a mentor. Yeah, maybe, totally, so. like being a part of it and helping um, to bring those kinds of things to light. But uh, another great story out of it that we just heard is that Jesse Anthony, who was also a part of the, that organization. I know Jesse. Yeah, yeah Jesse, um, she just uh, she won a, a coveted award in British Columbia called uh, the Emerging Filmmaker Award. Mm. Um, for her debut film called Brother I Cry. Awesome. Isn't that amazing? That is awesome. Yeah, congratulations to you, Jesse, if you're listening. That's amazing. Like, w talk about indigenous excellence, you know, and, and creative people. Like, um, like look at Trickster, how well it's doing. Like, the new episode's airing now. It's so yeah. popular. Yeah. Indigenous. You yeah, know, we're and, hip. Then the Shine Network's coming now with Jennifer Bedemski. You know they're going to produce some unbelievable content indigenous content right oh yeah what's the indigenous perspective right a shine actually more more specifically will be M more woman, more yeah more woman uh, perspective, aboriginal right? native representation women, yeah. yeah totally man it's so cool that's like, yeah, gonna be great brother i cry screened at um the bc the B a film festival yeah in BC, exactly right? the international film festival yeah. like we have tiff over here in toronto they have right. the vif i guess v v i f yeah so Oh, that once again from the Harvin J Show. Thank yeah, Jesse, congratulations, congratulations, you, making us proud. Keep keep going. Yeah, you know how That's cool ace. is that? That is it's ace. Rattle worthy man from the Sour Springs Rattler. <laughs> right? Oh yeah. From Sour Springs to BC, All go Jesse. Yeah, go Jesse. Ace, ace. It's aces. <laughs> Six Nations reported. Uh, Three more cases of COVID on our res, man. Ooh, terrible. That is terrible. I hate any new cases of COVID anywhere, but, you know, especially down We were here. so... We had no cases for a while, right? Yeah, it's, we kept it so clean. It's kind of scary. Isolated, I guess. But, mm -hmm. you know, like, with the numbers rising, it was bound to happen. Right. With the businesses down here, with the smoke shops, the gas industry, there's people that come here from Toronto... And uh, you know people place. are kind of thinking COVID's over, right? They're at the restaurants, malls, oh, gyms. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you go out, it's kind of like nothing's really the, changed. This, the traffic on the traffic's streets insane. is insane still. Yeah, like, it's uh, back. Yeah, it, it's yeah. not quiet at all. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of crazy. But, yeah, so, like, you, it's hard to trust the numbers, too, because, like, it, there's, like, seven, 800 number, but then they're saying, oh, like, these ones are unprocessed, and it's, like, we really don't know what's going on right now, right? Right. And, um, but the thing is, uh, they're still saying, the officials say that it's, like, a wake-up call to, like, kind of tighten your social circle a little bit, don't get so loose, you know? Right. Kind of get back to the words, just you and your family, you know, and kind of just go out for essentials. Essentially, the essentials, yeah. Yeah, they I don't want to say it. They're locking Toronto down again, basically, totally. right? So the, the levels up there, the people that are coming out with it is, is insane, dude. Yeah, like it was just, it'll just be a matter of time before all of Ontario or right, pretty much locked down. Cause... And then the president had it, and all their all their cabinet there, right? Yeah. But in the USA, it's predicting in December it could have up to 3,000 Americans a day die if we don't follow guidelines, right? So it's like ramping up because of the, the cold and all that stuff. But they did this poll in Canada, and um, they asked 1,500 people. Did you hear about this poll? Uh, who would they would vote for? Yeah, in, uh, in USA. Yeah, Trump or Biden. Right? Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you know, it was 84% uh, said they would vote for Biden. Wow. Well, that's not surprising, like, because Trump's not very well liked, but, <laughs> but I don't think... But they, in the States, I don't think it's that, I, yeah, I don't that think, wide of a margin. I don't think Biden's it's like very 51 well liked either, so. Yeah, why is that? I'm not exactly sure. I don't follow <laughs> why is that Why does a enough? country have two people going that nobody likes? Exactly. It's such a like weird a, thing. It's like a weird dynamic. Bernie Sanders tires all the time. <laughs> why isn't Bernie Sanders the president, then? You don't want to... Michelle Obama. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Uh, but that's crazy. 84%. That's insane, dude. Yeah. They're crazy. And it doesn't help that... Uh, it doesn't help that... Um, it was revealed that Donald Trump only paid seven hundred and fifty dollars in his taxes in two thousand and sixteen. Man, you know what's money that kid made? Yeah, exactly. I, and he's on the he's debate saying he paid hundreds of millions. Yeah, I paid yeah, yeah. Hundreds of millions, mm-hmm. like seven fifty. So, and then you hear about people like saying indigenous people don't, don't have to pay taxes. I'm and then, sure I where's the outcry when Donald Trump bucks, stuff yeah. comes out? As, as yeah. much as they hate on like indigenous people when it's really an uneducated stereotype, right? Mm-hmm. Saying that we don't have to pay taxes, which is totally ridiculous and ludicrous. Yeah, yeah we pay our taxes, but our share. No outrage We're when Donald Trump from does certain it. certain ones. An actual billionaire. Yeah. Come like when now. you got that kind of money, what the heck? It's kind of crazy. Cheap. <laughs> cheap. Ever cheap. Yeah, ever cheap. Two teenagers were charged in Brantford right next door to us. Have you heard this? This Ooh. is crazy, dude. Well, Two young girls were charged, 13 and 14, I think, in Brantford as part of an online fight club. That Brantford, she's a tough town. <laughs> Brantford <laughs> is a you tough know, like, town. If well, you've ever been to Brantford. Yeah, if, if you've never been to Brantford, don't go. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. No, but, no. Uh, I, think, kidding. I think they were trying to say they're the best blooming city in Ontario yeah. now, so we got to go with that. Yeah. But, but, you know, like, I know you've personally, spent your time personally in Brantford. I actually, lived, I actually yeah. lived there after our house burnt, our house right. burnt down when well, we were Well, you young. lived with my mother, yep. actually, in When we Brantford. were transitioning. Yeah, and when you were transitioning before you moved into your own place. Yep, exactly. So, like, I had my time in Brantford, went to high school in Brantford. So, yep. like, Brantford's always been a rough town, so yeah. this doesn't really surprise and me. And you were there at, when Eaton's was still popping, right? So yeah. That was at the decline, really, right? Yeah. Of downtown. I was probably at the peak of Brantford, and then I seen the fall of Absolute, Brantford. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. decline of it. Yeah. Yeah, and then the buildings get, get abandoned, and the people, it's just turned into kind of like a little bit shady, eh? It's a little kinda, bit scary it's walking, around there. walking around there. <laughs> it's entertaining some days. Yeah. Like watching them argue with themselves. Right. But, uh, you know, the classics are still down there. You know, Admirals, I still, I'm not, you yeah. know, Admiral. Admirals and Palace. Palace. Yeah, the, the two the two of the last remaining kind of pretty much yeah <laughs> things from back in the day. That right? Tim Hortons by Admirals though is possibly the scariest place on <laughs> earth. <laughs> Brantford, well, get a grip. <laughs> Ease up. Yeah. Anyways, uh, two teenagers like they're fighting online, kids like girls, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and somebody's filming this stuff. And someone's and, filming it, putting on online. And, they're like doing yeah. all the effort that we put on to yeah. put this show under. <laughs> There's kids doing it and watching people get punched out. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's it's for stuff that's been going on for a long time, right. though, I think. Because you watch Facebook, you see all these kid they're, fights. Maybe they're just trying to get the, the million trying, views and stuff, right? They're trying to hit that YouTube Get fame. on World Star yeah. and all that stuff. And exactly. Oh, my it's goodness. It's the world we're in now, I think. <laughs> right? You know? Everyone's trying to get famous. Right. It's crazy because um, everybody like, wants to be that one hit wonder. That one hit wonder and have that 15 million views and right. then nobody remembers you. Right. right. Because there's so many viral things. I'm still waiting for our every 15 day. million views, yeah, by I the know. way. That's coming, bud. Right. Yes. Our first video is almost up to 500. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> and actually, the Skylar Williams one has been really cooking. Awesome. It's getting close to yeah. 400 views. If already. you haven't watched it yet, yep. By all means, by all watch means, it. go check it out. We have a lot of episodes. We have a special ones with Derek Miller, mm-hmm. another one with um, Skyler, Skyler Williams, and Micah, Micah from Landback Lane, and another one coming up with uh, Cody Jamison and Cam Bomber. Yep, exactly. So soon. Hall of Famer and uh, one of the best players in the world right now. So right. yeah, we got some really cool guests coming up, and um, so make sure you subscribe. We love to subscribe. Um, our subscribers are getting up close to 100 now, man. We had zero yeah. <laughs> when we started. Yeah, so well, we're that's, doing good. that's progress at its finest. I love it. So zero we just to 100 to... real quick. Thank well. you to all the subscribers. Make sure you like and comment and uh, give us suggestions for our Halloween stuff, suggestions for topics, uh, just any old thing. Just say hi to us on our comments. We yeah, love it. We love it. We, we love like to hear it. the feedback, good or bad. Yes, that's it. Now we're talking. Mm-hmm. So Apple, you know Apple, the company of the iPads and all that kind of stuff? Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> <They're really not. laughs> hey, 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 oh. <laughs> Harvey, you can't do that when I'm trying to be serious. We gotta bounce, yeah, we gotta bounce, yeah, we gotta yeah. balance the line between yeah, yeah. information All right. and infotainment. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, is it? <laughs> Heckin' it. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Okay. But Apple, Apple anyways, yes. with all the madness in the world, is releasing a gender neutral Santa Claus. Like emoji. Yeah. Nutty. And it's androgynous and uh andro- androgynous. Uh it came after a survey was done that only nineteen percent preferred Santa to be neither a man or a woman. Only nineteen percent and they decided to make him. Well, we all know Santa ain't real. But, yeah. But, <laughs> That's but, a good point. But um, if he was. And if you believe in he. Santa, before this episode, make note of who just <laughs> blew your mind. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry to tell you, but this is an 18 plus show. That's right. And, and uh, we've always, we have to parent kids sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Parents won't do yeah. it. Grow up. Grow up, kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bed. Yeah. What? Get to bed. Go on. <laughs> Hacking it. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta be tough love, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> we are informative and entertaining that's at the right. same time. And uh, so, yeah, that's. But kinda, yeah, that's pretty wild. Um, yeah, that they would choose to do that. I would think like um, eighty percent would be the more. You know, the survey they they listen to the nineteen percent, and that's just me. And I mean, people can be progressive. And George and Santa, I could just picture like Michael Jackson with a Santa suit on. Yeah, I actually seen like, it. You should you should check it out. Um, maybe we'll put it on the screen here. Yeah, uh, it looks it looks like Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus kind of now, together. All in one? Yeah. yeah, that's I don't know how yeah. I feel about that. And I guess they're not married. I guess they combined. Yeah, they became one. So yeah, they're making their own like Christmas story now from now on, right? Because yeah. every Christmas story has Santa they have and, and, Mr. Miss, and Mrs. Miss Claus, Claus, right? Yeah, so like, that was well, I don't know. Things yeah. are changing, dude. They are changing. The whole world is changing. There's as long as they don't right mess there. with the Grinch. That's the new Mojo song right there. Changing. Changes, yeah. Changes. Yeah. No, just kidding. We're gonna. Yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to infringe <laughs> any more than we already <laughs> we have. have. Yeah. We're gonna get angry letters, you know, angry <laughs> letters. And we'll we look forward to those. And you know what letters. I look forward to is um seeing people who watch our show out in public. Oh yeah. People are starting to say, hey, good job, nice show, right? Yeah. It's cool. Uh, I went to Cool Kids the other day, actually. <laughs> yeah, they and do the water and ice Yeah, speaking of, uh, the, some delicious water from Cool Kids <laughs> Ice and go. Water. Yeah, and that's uh, I actually go there. I get my water from them. And, oh, yeah. yeah, my favorite. They're cool, man. They got great water. Yeah. And they're doing a really good thing for the community right now. They're only charging a dollar. A buck for a five-gallon jug. For a five-gallon jug. And you jug. can put your name in for a draw. Uh, yeah, give me yeah, a cool gift. And a lot like, of cool right stuff. Right when Six Nations needed it, right? There was like five yeah. bucks or whatever. But then they just said no, a dollar for everyone, keeping everyone in water. Yeah, the right? owners are really good people. That's I know them all. The Bombay awesome, family, awesome they're thing. awesome. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Yeah. So shout out to Cool Kids. Shout That's out. Really cool. cool Kids. These guys rock. You guys kick but and we still want to give this little decal away if you guys want to win it just make sure just put in the comments i want to win that decal right? yes as soon as we see that we'll get that going too and uh our cool sign from jacasa designs we're going yeah. to give them a shout Jukasa out designs is, yeah yeah that's a great i love that thing a great man. thing yeah we got a few add, added things to our set you know a little bit there's the coca-cola can in case you're wondering it's not a beer can it's no the, we're not we're not endorsing that. Right. We should sit here one day with a nice big brew. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky has a new brew out. It's oh, really? Big draft. The great one. Yeah. Himself. The, himself. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the NBA championship can there, and we got a little grinder there. It's kind of cool. Yeah. The set's getting at it, too, Just, weekly. And you have um, a I medallion? Have a, a medallion I'm going to bring in. Maybe we'll a put it on Six you. Medallion. <laughs> we'll try and put it around your... Hey, yeah, maybe, we'll see maybe how... that would fit around your neck there. Man. If it sits, yeah, we could we could check it out. I would just have to, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it, improving. Yeah, it keeps getting up every week. Yeah. We level it. up. We level up, kids. And that's what you're supposed to be doing that's nowadays, great. you know. That's, that's right. You, you're talking kid slang now. You're hip. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting with it. Yeah. <laughs> all you need to do is pop the collar and you, you actually would have it all down. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so al- alcohol sales, speaking of brew, has actually gone up by 200%, the sales in alcohol sales. I believe it. There's, a lot, there's started. a lot of day drinkers out there. <laughs> and Serb, you know, oh, like yeah, and Serb grand a month. And, yeah. to, you know, cover your bills, and I'm sure that buys a lot of uh, buck of beer. Oh, yeah. You know. It goes well with the, the Serb and the beers. Right. Yeah. 
And it goes, and then the, then the serve goes right back to the government because <laughs> is it not right. government owned? And the bars are all kind of not really happening, so people got to drink somewhere, so they're gonna drink at home or drink. See, it's drink, all like buy from the beer store. It's all and connected, drink dude. Yeah, it's all connected. Somebody actually did the calculations with inflation and everything of what Canada owes six nations. I, I didn't see seven it. trillion dollars. Trillion. Trillion. Wow. For everything, like start at the first university, start at the CN Rail, start at roads, you know, start at banks. The canal the, systems and stuff the, yeah, like that. The canal that. systems, yeah. the waterways and stuff. For All was from indigenous trust fund money yeah. because uh, Britain gave us money and land for helping them win the, the war, right? right? Um, but in that bank, it was supposed to be paying every, like all these taxes from everyone on our uh, Grand River track, right? right? We're supposed to be paying, and all those fees were supposed to be going into um, the trust the collective, fund. Collective, right? Yeah. yeah. But it turns out Canada has been just using that trust fund as their own personal like savings bank, right? Right. They pull it for whatever they need, and currently there's like two million dollars in there. There's oh, supposed wow. to be seven trillion dollars in there that six nations should be able to have access to. And it's kind of crazy when you know these numbers and then you still, you still like are blinded to the fact and say ignorant things like we don't pay taxes and yeah. like, haven't we done enough? Or it's still like the fact that like people can't go to their taps and have running water down here. 100%. Or stuff like this basic necessities or yeah. like that. Or heat. And yeah. you know, they live in these little trailers and yeah, you know, those aren't warm. That's man. outrageous. But they're outrageous. Yeah. $7 trillion. Sober up Canada. Yeah. They need to get it together. Yeah. And then we have all these battles over land for minuscule dollars. Like we talked with Skyler and all them about the actual numbers, right? Really minuscule mm -hmm. for what they would pay for in Toronto, like $2 million for an acre. Here, we got to give up an acre for, you know, $35,000 or something. Right. Like, come on, man. It's always these oppressive things to keep us... Like, and even the land down here isn't as valuable as land, say. Yeah, and it doesn't grow. Reserve, yeah, like farmable or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So because no one can, no one can buy it and stuff yeah. like that, right? And I hate the fact that we can't buy, which was a great point. Like everyone else in the world can buy a plot of land and grow, 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 but we can't. Like we we have to buy on Six Nations at Six Nations, but if we buy right next door, which is still on the track. It's not Six Nations anymore. Exactly. It's yeah. Caledonia or it's Waterford or whatever it is, right? Yeah. But it remains system. in that, and they're 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 dead. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, ridiculous. Just, just, we got to change these things. We yeah. might have to run, man. We might have to run and take on Justin Trudeau in the new one. I'm not a much of a political force, but I'd right. But I'd, things got to change. I'd play behind the scenes things gotta on change. your team. You know, and I, I actually want leaders in the future, and I'm just going to be an advocate of this forever. I want leaders who have morality, who yeah. have ethics, who have accountability, accountability, and uh, above reproach, um, who do things in plain sight, who emails, right. phones, texts, um, no no behind closed doors, like closed door meetings, everything right. out in front, everything with the media there, like really transparent. You know, yeah. and, um, I think that's the only way to build trust. Yeah, and that's unfortunately that's, that's what we need. Yeah, we need. Th there's none of that in any form of leadership we have yeah. anywhere down here or in any government. Right. Unfortunately, you know how scared so. people would be if we had to put cameras on them at all times and then be accountable and have media there and you know what I mean? Like, come on, right. now. We, we 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 could get some things done, right? Exactly. Like, r do the right thing. Yeah, just be accountable. Yeah. Pretend like there's a camera watching you all the all time. All the man. time, especially if you're a leader. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you're just at home isolating at yourself and you don't really in fact anything then okay but if you're a leader come on man yeah get with it yeah and if you have hate in your heart if you know you hate indigenous people don't run for office in caledonia which is right next door to six oh my goodness. don't run for office in in ontario or canada that on the internet there when you try to message ontario you know to, to display your displeasure with what's going on right. they're just blocking people from even and messaging shutting it down them. before you can so even that's get there, silencing so. your voice again yeah. and that's all we're seeing is everything's really repetitive with opp and which in just, canada yeah which should be transparent to everybody to see that they're not they don't want to hear what you got to say right. they're going to try to do what they got to do so trying to silence indigenous people when our voices is only for unity our voices are only for everyone to be equal like um i understand about marketing and money and stuff but we still can't just say uh, okay, you can be rich, but these guys can be poor and dead in the streets. Like that, right. that doesn't make sense. Like you're allowed to be rich, but we're not going to let these guys, we're going to 
you know what I mean, take care of these guys, whether if they have to be in a mental place or, you know, whatever yeah. it takes, right? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's greed or if yeah. it's just a power trip or what it is, but... But it's kind of like making everyone something. really desperate, right? Like yeah. the like the pain drugs, the the all the things. The doctors don't even empathize because they have so many cases, and they just kind of just give you the the coolest new drug and numbs the pain, right? But right. it's not. It doesn't deal with the pain and the root, and that's what the whole idea of um, healing yourself is. You need to find the root of that stuff. Right. And I'm, I'm the same way, right? This is cool. A bank manager has found a nine carat diamond in a place called Crater of Diamonds Star Park in Arkansas. Uh, he thought he saw a piece of glass, like, shimmering in the sunlight. Yeah. Uh, Nine-carat diamond, dude. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. What a score. Like, imagine the... But I guess it's not that lucky because this place was known for people, like, you know, going people to... find a diamond? <laughs> yeah. Right, right? I guess they find one or two a day there. Some people do, but not that big, obviously. Might yeah. be a little speck set. You know? Yeah, that's a pretty good score. Nine but... carats, that's pretty big. Mm-hmm. You know, the little ones in your ears can be like, they're not even a carat, right? Not it's even, like no. Quarter carat or whatever, quarter eighth carat, of a carat or whatever. Like that, yeah. That's crazy. It's so... not up to par on my carats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, I don't really understand that either. I could never really afford the big, <laughs> the big blingy earring. Right. You know? Zirconium. <laughs> we had the zirconium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the like zirconium. those pop rock rings. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know the ones. And those guys that can scratch diamonds and everything, and if you touch those, it would just shatter. <laughs> That's the ones I know. Oh, Harv, you know. That's the ones. <laughs> just accessories. That's, really. that's it. That's it, man. Accessories. You gotta stay. You gotta stay pimping. You know? Yeah. So this is really cool, man. Um, Clint Eastwood. You know Clint Eastwood. Dirty Harry himself. Yes. He is set to produce, star, and direct. A new film called Cry Macho at 90 years old. Excellent. I've seen, I've seen The Mule, which is a great film. And that's it's one recent. of his recent films. Yeah, and he was awesome in that. He is an amazing actor. Yeah. And the films he directs, like, incredible scenery, yeah. incredible Grand framing. Torino. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, But I'm just thinking, like, how crazy is that? He Like, if you don't know movie productions and stuff, like... To be the director, to be the star, like it's a big job just to be the director, right? Because he's got to yeah. go through the notes and manage everybody and manage he'd be, all the he'd shots. Be part of the setup, part of the acting, part of the, the telling the other actors the lighting, what to the do. The the backdrops, the yeah. audio, right? Everything, sequencing, everything, right? Yeah, he's got to act- be a very high wired guy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and, and and then to be able to act, right? Yeah. And direct people at the same time, and then. Um, produce it too, which is getting the money and um, doing all the advertising and doing. Right. It's crazy. Yeah. 90... Well, he's he's been in the industry for he's 90 now. He's been in the industry for what at least 50 years. But you wouldn't maybe more. tell he's 90, would you? In his no. movies, he walks strong. He talks strong. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. You, yeah. He looks for... like a tough guy. He's yeah. a, a typical Hollywood tough guy. For me, I love the fact that people do great things at old days because i i'm one of the people that strive i want to be old like my grandpa was 85 and yeah. you know when, i hope i get to be an old yeah like virile doing stuff right. old guy you know i've seen somebody like 103 years old winning like um uh, setting the record for like the furthest run like people are, they're right. still doing great things you know so when i see like a 90 year old still do, doing an elite level stuff. This he's not producing a <laughs> like a little theater production right, in right. Toronto, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. An old age golden girls reenactment. <laughs> golden girls reenactment and old age <laughs> home. No, this guy is out still doing it. Not right. retired. He could have retired thirty years ago and people would have loved it. Right. Yeah. He's still doing it because he loves it. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's. That's why great, we do it, right? That's the only reason we do it because we love it. Yeah. We're not getting paid yet. No. <laughs> if we can get paid, we'll love it even money, more. Money, money, and then it won't be cubic zirconia anymore no <laughs> no and we need a new desk so we do need that new desk even though this one's lovely but it needs to go back in my kitchen because i need to right. eat <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know um the six nations tomahawks i'm about to enlighten you yes <laughs> do you yes. know of, you know i've, I've heard <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, six, pray tell. Yeah, pray tell. Um, six Nations Tomahawks are the senior C lacrosse men's uh, lacrosse team, mm-hmm. and uh, we won uh, the Ontario championship um, 
last year. We obviously couldn't play this year. So that kind of means that we're still reigning champs, right? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, raining. Yeah, still, still like raining. that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that is ace. I'm getting up there now, so I don't know if I have the legs to go at it another year. You know, I was kind of hoping to play this year so I could try to repeat with all the Just, all the great players, right? Right. Like we had Alex Kiddo Hill, who was the MVP of the league. We had Lane Smith, who was like the highest scoring junior B yeah, he player was a in high history. Scoring of... rebel, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I know Chad. Chad was Chad Hill, Chad Hill. He was player. our captain. Yeah. Amazing player, toughness. Yeah. Amazing. We I had played a lot with of Chad depth. back in the day, so I, yeah. I know Chad. So it was, it was cr- a nice squad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for a senior squad, seed team, yeah. That's... And I finished seventh in scoring, not to pat myself on the nice. back. Nice. We had 21 great runners, and uh, with all those names we were talking about, but I managed to um, contribute. You know, nice. work, I worked hard. You know, being one of the oldest, Chad, me and Chad were the oldest on the team, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I played every game. I don't know. Um, I was pretty proud of that. I played every game in, in the playoffs and regular season, awesome. too. Yeah. Awesome. Locking <laughs> it up. Of, yeah, Locking it up. Oh, you know, you know how I play physical, oh, yeah. you know, and um, love to shoot. And uh, just, you know, my grandpa, like, got the polish. I just oh, yeah. got the passion for the game, like, in my yeah. DNA, right? So, man, it was really cool. So, I'm wearing my um, Tomahawks jersey, championships jersey. Um, got my name and number on there. So, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. You had some slick kind of bronzy color yeah, but that's it. you know but yep. but that's nice nice jerseys yeah that works man we never got to uh, wear these in a game these were kind of like um given to us as like for champ- champions so oh. anyone who won if you see this shirt you'll know they're you know actually they're one a, of the players a legit champ yeah exactly Isn't brody cool? thomas yeah he was on the i team know brody as well. thomas yep. yeah totally if you want to watch all the videos of um our season i actually put them up on my jace martin youtube channel um, you can watch pretty much every game of the season. We we had a, one camera running all the games. So any good scraps? We weren't allowed to fight in that league. Oh, if no? you fight, you get kicked out. Oh. Like you can't play anymore. Like literally, not just that game. Yeah, you're, you're out of the league. The, yeah, the league. Yeah. So yeah, so it, you know there was really good battles just and nice big and hits. Rough, though, eh? But yeah, if everyone knew if you fought, yeah, you're out. I so, guess it keeps it a gentlemanly yeah. game. Yeah. So senior C, they were saying it's not as biggest senior b senior a where they do fight right so oh yeah so they just kind of say that senior c is like a breeding ground for senior b right they're just trying to get these guys up there with like it's not going to be a goon league More basically a talent, yeah yeah talent a talent, talent league, league. Yeah. yep exactly which is better yeah running better talent. for the game yep exactly and uh, nobody gets hurt right mm-hmm. and the fans and everyone aren't herring up in the parking lot and, oh you know yeah what I mean? I've, All been that to, stuff. I've been to a few games yeah where... totally it gets a little ugly in the stands. Oh, I love playing lacrosse, dude. We come from Six Nation. And I'm literally, we're so, we're like, we talk about it's the, the bad best, things. It's the best place. But it's the best place to be born. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I wouldn't want right. to be not brown. Right. I wouldn't want to be not indigenous right. or Mohawk. It's like, it makes me so unique. It makes me so strong. It makes me so resilient. And I know I'm standing on the shoulders of giants like my ancestors, my grandpa and my uncle and you know, all the way back to Joseph Brandt and all these kinds of guys, right? Oh, yeah. And you too. Come from a long line of uh, warriors. Champions, warriors, Champs, visionaries, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, every indigenous person does too. So people got to really. Yeah, be proud of who you are and where you came from. Like, And um, even Robbie Robertson said um, the, the fact that um, he's from Six Nations, he felt always, he got confidence in that when he was going, doing these big shows with Bob Dylan and all these huge things. He said he took confidence and and soul uh, in the fact that um, indigenous people were inherent storytellers. So he he felt like he believed that it was inherently in his DNA, and it gave him confidence yeah, out so, on the road. Yeah, so it was what he was supposed to be doing. Isn't that right? amazing way yeah. to look at it? Yeah, and he's a legend. Robbie Robertson, Hall of Famer, amazing. Rock and Roll Hall of Rock Famer, and Roll Hall of Famer with the band and as himself, right? Robbie Robertson, yeah. so twice. Yeah. And I got to bring him down. We got to bring him down with a great team from Six Nations a few years ago to give the Six Nations first and only um, Lifetime Achievement Award was given to Robbie Robinson a few years ago. Right. Yep. They've awesome. only given up one so far. You know, there's a lot of great people that... Yeah, there's, you know, there's some probably other worthy recipients, yeah, but, but, you know, he's put a lifetime of work into Exactly. His, and his he's craft. the only one I think is really deserving, but I think COVID kind of maybe put the kibosh on maybe doing that again, but... Yeah. We'll see, maybe in the future, maybe like Pauline Johnson or, you know... Definitely Pauline Tom Johnson. Tom Longbow, yeah. right? Oh, for sure. These people that are just, like, legendary status, dude. Right. Well, Tom Longbow has his own trophy, too, right? And his own event, the Tom Longbow run, and there was, like, a Tom Longbow yep, trophy. Yep, but I don't think they've ever recognized anyone else, like, a Lifetime Achievement yeah, Award down here. Nations, so that would yeah. be cool for his family, right? 
Yeah, so it could be like so a we're putting walk it out of fame. There. Could be like a walk of fame. Yeah, down here. totally. Right. We got Robbie Robertson now, and he actually came. It was his first time on Six Nations in forty years. You know oh, what wow. I mean? A long time. Yeah. And he actually came and um, went right to the his whole homestead. Mm -hmm. uh, with his family there on second line mm -hmm. and um the family there was like blown away robbie robertson sitting in their kitchen playing with and uh his family's musical from down here too right and um they they pulled out their guitars and robbie was playing with them that's Th awesome that's actually their family and like what a crazy that'd be so cool to have amazing. robbie robertson as a cousin and that's an their uncle. cousin yeah. and he's playing guitar in your your house their his old homestead yeah. where his mom was raised right excellent isn't that amazing Part of that beautiful music history of Six Nations, which we got to get out there, man. Yeah, a lot man. Of people don't know this stuff. That's, yeah, that's why we got to be, um, we got to keep chirping, man. We're like, we're like, we should be those guys. If they said Sesame Street, you know, those guys in the cheap seats that were arguing all the the old guys that are always mouthing oh, off in the theater. The Muppet dudes. Oh, the Muppets. Yeah. Oh yeah, not the Sesame Muppet Street. Guys, yeah. <laughs> those guys that argue yeah, and just yeah. mouth out the whole time. That would be <laughs> those fun. Those old hecklers. Yeah. <laughs> the old hecklers. Yeah, yeah. I love those guys. They're so funny. Yeah, there he is. So, um, yesterday, um, Netflix, they released a brand new movie from Adam Sandler, who is who they said is the world's top streaming star in the world. Wow. Uh, they said audience have, audiences have watched more than two billion hours worth of adam sandler movies since 2016 when he first appeared on netflix i believe it two billion i've hours. watched little nicky probably 300 times <laughs> personally I, i've no. watched that one that many times too <laughs> isn't that one amazing yeah like <laughs> oh my anger management too was one that i watched yeah. a lot did you see anger management with jack nicholson yes i did oh yeah, my that's goodness a good, that's decent yeah. yeah yeah it's really good yeah he's oh. got a few of the like uh like I, water, I know it's classics, not, right? Like uh, Grandma's Boy is not Adam Sandler film, but it's, it's production Adam company. Sandler production, right? That's one of my hilarious. Favorites. Yeah, yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's really cool. He's got a new movie out. It's called Hubie Halloween. Um, he did like Ridiculous Six, The Do Over, Sandy Wexler, all these cool movies um, for Netflix with a huge deal. And he just signed yeah. a new four-year deal, a four-movie deal, um, for two hundred and seventy-five million dollars. He's got four, her made. Four more movies, man. And they pay for it all. That that goes in his bank. No heck in it. <laughs> oh, is it? Was it? Yeah. And uh, one of my favorites ones, they, they said, is actually the most watched um, movie on Netflix is Murder Mystery. I have not seen that one yet. He said 83 million people have watched that movie. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Think it's... about 83 million people taking their to buy tickets and popcorn and stuff. That that'd be getting close to a billion dollar movie. Yeah, that's a blockbuster. <laughs> that's a blockbuster yeah, movie. Is that crazy? Right up to well, your Star Wars Sandler. numbers. That's pretty awesome. And uh, that's cool. Just a cool side note. Netflix, you have to watch um, at least 70 percent to be considered a full view. So, oh. so people were at least watching that much they of his movies. They watched 70 percent of his movie before they. Billion. Before they off. clicked her off or fell, <laughs> fell asleep yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Or fall asleep while you're still watching, right? That's you right, probably yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And uh, you know, familiar with Rick Moranis? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. You got to love Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, yes. right? Yeah, also, uh, Lord Helmet. <laughs> oh, yeah, from, from uh, Spaceballs. Spaceballs. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I love me some Rick Moranis. If you don't know these movies, you need to watch them because it's yeah. going to change your life. Like, Life needs to be happy, right? Life, right. Life, life needs to be funny. Spaceballs is a great movie, <laughs> Spaceballs actually. Spaceballs is amazing. <laughs> like the audacity of it, you know? Right. <laughs> the audacity of it, you know? John Candy was in that one. Yeah, Can good Canadian boy. Amazing boy. Canadian actor. Oh. Yeah, but anyways, Rick Moranis, he was, um, unfortunately... <laughs> was it? Rick Moranis also was... Uh, from SCTV, I believe, back right. in the day. Which is amazing. Yeah, right. he started out with all the legends. Yeah. Eugene Levy, with Catherine John Henry. Candy. Yep, all those Eugene great actors. Levy, yeah. But uh, somebody took it upon himself. He was going, he's coming out of his, uh, in New York. He lives in New York now anyways. Mm -hmm. But I guess he was coming out in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. It was caught on tape. Um, he was just attacked. And somebody like wound up and sucker punched him and like knocked him to the ground. Like 7.30 in the morning for no reason. Unprovoked. Man, that's got to be... Somebody's messed up for doing that to Rick Moranis. I know, but maybe they uh, know. Uh, uh, like, uh, what has he ever done wrong in life? I know. 
All, he, all he's ever done is the best thing. Yeah, and how could you look at that face and just, yeah, just say, I want to knock your ass yeah, out? Yeah, I'm going to punch his guy yeah, with I'm glasses. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> yeah. That's awful. And New York City, man. That's yeah, a rough I'm, town, too. It's like, it's almost like, uh, it's like a mean Branford. <laughs> it's almost like, yeah. It's, it's almost like, like he retired from acting right yeah and, uh, they actually wanted him to come back for the new ghostbusters thing with dan Aykroyd and those guys and he, he didn't do it but uh, i guess he's slowly um doing stuff again so yeah, well until he got punched in the head that yeah, is so now, maybe now he's rethinking it, right? it yeah. oh, maybe they're like yeah. give us the honey i shrunk the kids for or, yeah, or else you know that's right oh my goodness i feel bad man I'm the, I don't I'm the, I don't like punching people, man. Like I'm a bigger guy and I'm yeah. a physical guy when I play sports and stuff. But I've never really liked fighting. I don't I don't get it. I don't get why you want to take someone's like beautiful head and <laughs> and, and punch it. Yeah. I don't. I've never understood it, man. I it's, enjoy hitting things, <laughs> but <laughs> maybe not heads or faces yeah. so much. But you know. Yeah. I mean, if just, I got just to. out of aggression, you know, like a punching bag or like working out totally. when you're angry. Like I get that. To let it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, like, if you're, or if you're into fighting, like the yeah. like say. You UFC and UFC it's, a, boxing. it's a thing. Yeah, it's boxing. A, it's a venting. Hockey, hockey, lacrosse, hockey fighting, lacrosse, and forces. Happens, yeah, yeah. But I'm not against it. I just don't like. But doing just it. to be walking around the park and see Rick Moranis, I'm gonna go punch him. I'm in the gonna head. go punch him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't do that to Rick Moranis yeah. or anyone for yeah. that matter, right? Yeah, anyone. Such a beloved figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on now. He could have killed him. He's getting up there too. He's old. Yeah, right? he's sixty some odd years old, <laughs> and he's got to be what five foot five, <laughs> four foot five. Yeah, like come on, man. <laughs> oh, smart up. No. Yeah, he's up. Whoever that was, turn yourself in and be a man. If you're man enough to knock somebody out, sucker punch. Be man enough to go. You're man enough the, to step to Rick Moranis. Say, come see me, one. fella. Come see me. Yeah, and then maybe we could monotonize that and we could have the sucker puncher and rick moranis in an actual ufc ring and then see who comes out on top honey i punched rick moranis <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's it yeah. oh my goodness maybe he was filming there, a skit bud. you're hot he was filming a skit <laughs> that's rattle worthy <laughs> no i love that man and uh there's a um, eddie van halen passed away man Ah, oh, rest in Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. He was a rest in rock. Yeah, he was a legend. Like he was rock a, and roll legend. He was actually one of those guys we were, we were talking before of all the people who kind of they seem like they're bigger than music, right? He was right. Like, right there at the top of the rock and roll in the seventies and eighties. Yeah, he, some, like he owned the eighties. Yeah. it seemed. Like, no, he he was actually credited with like um, bringing that um, like that. Like the showmanship, that flashy rock. Yeah, yeah, flashy rock. Yeah. He was kind of credited like like him and David Lee Roth, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, and uh, like you know how Jimi Hendrix was kind of like noted for being like you know revolutionary, yeah. you know, in the way he was stylings, like so. Yeah, yeah he Eddie was Van Halen really, was yeah, he was a great rocker. And Guitar Magazine um, did a poll, and he was ranked the number one guitar player of all time. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Guitar yeah. player. Yeah, he's got some great, great jams. So they're great songs that we all know, right? Jump. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Running with the Devils, one of my favorites. Right. Or and, uh, Eruption. Yeah, Hot for Teacher, Hot which for is teacher. you see in all the movies, yeah, right? Yeah, the Jump you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, great song. So, yeah, we just want to say our deepest. Yeah, rest um, in peace, Eddie Van yeah, Halen. Rest in rock, I say, man. Yeah. Because his music will never rest die. Rest in paradise. Yeah, that's it. I like that one. Yeah. That really good. Um, an online subscription service. Um, called OnlyFans. Have you heard of this? I've heard. It's kind of like a like a service where people like can, a poor man's porn thing or something. Or it can be yeah. Or a rich man's porn, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anything. I guess, I've never been rich, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess people can like if you're um, like a, a person, like a woman or a guy or whatever. I guess you can set up your own account and like have cameras of like racy pictures and stuff right. that people will pay for. Right. And so. Um, Right now, it's kind of crazy to think about it. They just revealed that Black China. Have you ever heard of Black China? Uh, I've a, heard of her. A musician, right? Yeah. An artist um, who was like got really famous for like not only her music but dating like Rob Kardashian, yeah, Kardashian and, and yeah, Tyga, yeah. right? So yeah. all that big popular stuff that's going on. But yeah. anyways, she's the. You won't believe this. She is the most sought person on OnlyFans, and she makes. Twenty million dollars a month. Oh my goodness! A month. When are we starting an OnlyFans thing? That's two hundred and forty million dollars a year. That's insane. That's how much she makes. Black China. 
on OnlyFans. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's, that's not movies. That's not music. That's nothing. That's, that's just, just for sitting at home taking pictures for yeah, people. Just racing. Uh, I guess one of them, one picture was two hundred dollars, and millions of people, millions buy it, pay that two hundred dollars to see these pictures. For that one picture. One yeah. picture. Wow. Isn't that insane? When, when porn's actually free all, <laughs> all over the internet, right? Like unlimited hours of pictures and anything you could think of is free. It's crazy. Yeah, they're making twenty million a month still. Right, and I thought Insane. I actually had to read that twice. I was like, oh, twenty million a year—that's pretty good. You think about like the, the top actors in the world. They said that um, the Rock's like the highest-paid male guy or whatever. He's made like eighty million this year. Right. Two hundred and forty million dollars, Black China. More than our biggest movie stars, more than our biggest like Jay Z musicians and yeah. stuff. Isn't that insane? It's sex sells, they say. Sex sells, so, man. Yeah. Wow. That and goes um, to prove it. Yep. And I guess uh, a girl, uh, another actress, um, her name is um, Bella Thorne. I don't know if you know Bella Thorne. Uh, I'm not familiar uh, with that. Name. She's second, and she makes 11.6 million dollars a month, which is pretty damn good as well. Wow. It's over a hundred mil a year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For and you don't have to leave your house. Right. And you don't have to get production, pay anybody. He just, you could do it. I'm just sure with just your photo, phone, right? Yeah. Your iPhone. I think the iPhone 11 X has one of the best. The high resolution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can get like 6K or whatever oh. it is now, right? Oh my goodness, that's insane. And this is kind of anything to make money, I guess. What? I don't know, man. I just it blows my mind. Right. Twenty million a month. Yeah. Wow. We're in the wrong business. Yeah. So maybe we will. and Jays will be moving over to OnlyFans only fans. soon. <laughs> 200 bucks and you might see a little. <laughs> you want to see a picture? 200 bucks. <laughs> Just swipe the credit card because that's all people do, right? They, some, it's not like spending, you know, when you spend cash, it's like, oh, that hurts, right? But a credit card, people can just seem to do it online. Just, you know, add to cart, click, click. It's yeah. a lot easier, right? Right. So maybe when that bill comes on that OnlyFans and they think, holy crap, I've spent 20 grand in six months on this girl. Yeah. That's crazy. But, hey. Whatever makes you um, happy, though, I guess. My uncle used to always say, my uncle Howard used to always say, like, if, it, you're, if it's happy, you know, and it doesn't hurt anybody, like, what's the harm, right? Right. But anyways. To each their own. That's it. And uh, a new... Um, movie warner brothers uh delayed uh the batman starring robert patterson they moved it back to uh 2022 now because of covid and stuff like that i he doesn't strike me as a masculine batman right so i can wait for that really i could wait for I it i just like all the batman stuff i like all batmans but i was interested to see what robert he, was pattinson, he was supposed to be yeah. coming out like i think this christmas or something like that, oh yeah right? yeah i enjoyed uh christian bale Oh, I thought he's, he was amazing. He's portrayal of Batman. Yeah, I didn't even mind Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck was not bad, yeah. He did pretty Michael good. Michael Keaton, the original Michael back Keaton, in the day. Michael Keaton, I don't know if you can beat that. Yeah. Because that, that was a little bit more um, fun Batman, yeah. right? It's more dark now yeah, because yeah. they call him the Dark Knight now, right? Yeah. And, and he is. That's what the character was actually. True. He was written dark, right? He wasn't right. written. Yeah, really, he wasn't like a happy superhero. Yeah, yeah, kind like of the guy. old, like they try to portray him on TV and mm. maybe the early Michael Keaton ones, right? Yeah, Adam West. Yep. Yeah, yeah Adam West. Right? That was really hokey pokey, right? Yeah, yeah. Power that was, that was and fun time. And two, and da, da, da. Yeah. Wop. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, and um, so, but the good news is that the new Matrix movie, the fourth in the franchise, actually got moved up to Christmas 2021. So that's coming earlier than expected, too. The new Matrix. Have you ever seen it? Uh, I haven't seen we're anything just, about it, but I'm. We're just talking about Keanu Reeves. Yeah, I love the Matrix series. It's, it's like revamping everything. Just did Bill and Ted. Yeah. No, he's doing... Keanu Reeves is great. He's back. The, all the John Wicks. I think he did a new John Wick recently, yeah. too, right? Uh, the number four, I think. I think it's John Wick 4, yeah. Amazing. I love those movies. He yeah. is such a... His longevity in the, in the game is great. Yeah, he's and a he dynamic hasn't changed actor. much. He's like that person that you think, like, this guy can't act. And then you see him, and he's like, what the hell's going on here? He's, it's powerful. Right. I don't know. He's like, just, he's going to be making movies when he's 90. But he's not going to be making $240 million a year. Oh, no. Like Black China. No, no, not unless he gets himself an OnlyFans page. <laughs> right? I can't believe that. Our biggest stars and our biggest musicians, our biggest athletes, they can't earn as much as Black China. My goodness. That's tough to... What has this world come to? <laughs> I know, <laughs> man. We need to start our OnlyFans, and I heard these things are like Patreon. We need to start our OnlyFans so we can get a new desk. Yeah, and I can get this <laughs> kitchen back upstairs. Yes. You know, it's crazy, dude. 
Um, Lakers are up 3-1. They're almost going to win the championship over the Heat. Yeah, man. by and this time next week, I'm thinking... Could be over on Friday. LeBron's going to be the Tomorrow. champ again, yeah. Yeah, could be over. Uh, LeBron James is just a game away from the, being the all-time NBA playoffs game leader, too. Yeah, I believe it. Isn't he's, that amazing? Yeah, he's he's there every year. Right? Like you yeah. said, they had to the 10 finals, like, yeah, right? Yeah, he's been to 10 finals. So that's four, and even if four, he hasn't been to the finals, he's been making it to the final four. But to get to the finals, that's four rounds every yeah. year, right? So if people are coming in and out real quick, they're oh, not going to yeah. get those games up and catch him, right? Yeah, he's going to go down as one of the greats. Yeah, he's played 257 games um, in the NBA playoffs. Uh, Chris Chelios, you know, the great hockey player. Chelly. Yep, he leads the NHL with... 266 playoff games Great played. Defense, man. That's amazing. Yeah. So that was with some really good teams then. Yeah, he, he played Blackhawks with the Blackhawks, the, the, Black Hawks, the Montreal, Detroit. Detroit. And they were all in the playoffs when yeah. Chelly was there, right? He Great. won cups with uh, Great Montreal and Detroit, I believe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he played till he was like 47, yeah. you know, 48, something like, maybe even 50, I don't know. Yeah, I can't he was remember. Close to 50 <laughs> he was pretty he, darn old, yeah. like, like Gordy Howe, right? Gordy yeah. Howe played for the Whalers when he was 52 when he was 50 or something, something like that. Yeah. Insane. I love that longevity, dude. To stay in this. Like Yager. He's still playing I professionally Yager. somewhere. Yeah. Yager is actually my favorite NHL player of all time. He's the one oh, that nice. kind of got me more into it than Gretzky did. I love Gretzky and everything, but it was something about Yager. The mm. flair and that. The, the hair. hair flying, yeah. yeah. And he would dipsy doodle and yeah. He was like the, he was like the, all the grace of Gretzky, but the big size of Lemieux. Right. So, you know how right. people are always like, I like Gretzky better, I like Lemieux better. I thought right. Yager was yeah, a good a mix nice of both. Combination, yeah. yeah, so pretty darn cool, man. Uh, anyways, the NHL draft was last night, and the New York Rangers took, like everyone knew, Alexis Lafreniere from... Uh, Ramuski. Q- yep, Ramuski, the QMJL. Yep. Uh, he was the uh, actually the QMJ and that's, HL. that's Sidney Crosby's old squad, is it not? Ramuski, yep, yeah, exactly. And um, it's funny that you said Crosby because uh, he's... That Lafreniere is the he's the only ones to win two MVPs of the league because you're only yeah. there four years, right? Yeah, back to back. Four year el- eligibility, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, he won back to back MVPs just like Crosby did. Yeah. The only ones since then, they're the only two players. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Wonder if he'll follow the same trajectory as. And he's playing in Rangers on Broadway where Wayne Gretzky played too. That's really. So that's cool. a pretty nice start. Yeah. Um, so I'm really excited to see what that kid can do and re- uh, say, you know, go Rangers. And yeah. uh, the Leafs selected at 15th. Um, a young kid from the KHL. He's a star in the KHL playing with men. He's only 19 years old. I hope it's a good move because like, yeah. I haven't heard of this guy. And like, right. I know there's some other guys that there they, were some really good they could goalies. Have addressed. And, yeah. There were some really good goalies and defensemen that they yeah. like. Montreal took a great defense. Like, I'm, like I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. It, like the hat, yeah, the hat says right. Like, man, but I don't know. But about I hear Kyle what you're saying. Dubis. Kyle Dubas is. The... But I think they're kind of thinking like Austin Matthews. Remember he played in the Swiss League, at, right? And with men, this kid's playing with men in the KHL for years. Right. He's and gonna... I watched some of his highlights actually cool. last night. I went on YouTube and right. he's got some moves. And then when you draft these young guys who don't play against the men, you don't know if they're gonna transition well to right. like when they're playing 150 pound kids and then they come to the NHL where Chris Pronger and all these yeah. big guys are they're 270 where pounds. Dustin Bufflin's trying to yeah, crush Yeah, he's 270 yeah. pounds, right? Yeah. And fast and yeah. hit hard. <laughs> yeah, and this guy's 19, he was playing against guys, men. men already. And he's doing really good too. Yeah, like so hopefully that's a good transition for them. Right? They said he'll fit nicely with them. And Friday um tomorrow is the NHL um the second the free agency. The free agency. So people can start signing new yeah. players. I, I always find that time to be really exciting. Yeah, free no, no, agency get new players, or the, right? the trade deadline, I always find. Yeah, I very, love the trade deadline, very too. Very exciting days. Yeah, so that's Friday, but the trades already got going. Um, Ty Domi's son, Max Domi, just got traded to Columbus, which I don't like because they're Toronto's rival, Columbus. Yeah. Now they got Domi. And I was thinking, at least I'd rather see Domi in Columbus than in, in Montreal, Montreal, though, right? honestly. Because we won't have to play him at all, really. Right. But Except for in the playoffs, maybe. Yeah. Oh. But I was still holding out some kind of hope that maybe he would have yeah, ended Domi up in Toronto. Yeah, Domi should have came to Toronto, man, like Ty and all the connections, yeah. right? But I think maybe he would have played his heart out. Maybe him. it will happen, though, because um, his contract is up. So it's yeah. up to... Well, they signed him for two years today. They did? They oh, oh, that's great. Years. So you're, you're, you're nothing but the fact. Oh, man, I love chatting with you. We get through these... 
topic so beautifully, man. Yeah, I just man. appreciate every yeah, Thursday because there's so many crazy things going like on in the world. Just like sitting down and having a nice little cup of tea yeah, with I a totally good friend. I actually had a nice tea in my yeah. cups today. I had some nice cool kids water today. Yeah, cool kids, you know. Cool kids, nice and refreshing yeah. every time. Make sure you get back to work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rick. <laughs> Um, and this is really neat. I thought this was really cool. Um, in an effort to combat poverty, um, favoring social integration and contributing to the respect of human dignity, um, voters in Geneva, Switzerland agreed to raise the minimum wage to $25 an hour, which is the highest in the world. They must be balling. 20, it's, 20, I guess yeah. it's a really expensive place to live, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like 25 bucks an hour. Is, yes, that's over $4,000 a month Wow. to live on. Isn't yeah. that amazing? Yeah, that's a yeah, that's heavy, heavy finances. That's pretty like uh, America's and put it in perspective is seven twenty five an hour for their minimum wage. Minimum wage, yeah. seven twenty five. Wow. And Canada's which well, is... sounds right because America, you know, the cost of living is pretty cheap. Some places, you're some right. Some places it's expensive as heck. But, right. You know, you can get away with living. Yeah, that's what a lot of people when they come from America to Canada, they realize that, you know, our phone bills aren't fifteen dollars, they're a hundred and fifteen dollars, right. right? Yeah. Right. There's, there's a big price. Our beer the beer over there, you can really buy twenty four beers for like ten bucks. Yeah, exactly. And it's like forty, fifty over here. Yeah, yeah, crazy. So. But Canada's is fifteen, USA seven twenty five, but that's pretty darn cool, don't you think? Oh yeah. I just like anything like what we were talking about. Just like, if it's gonna help their economy and help their people, then why uh, not? That's what you it's know? all about. It's gonna I stimulate think. the people. Help the people, man. We can't have people like homeless and hurting and incapable of enjoying life. That's come when on, you're gonna man. get the bad element to come yeah, off the crime care of or whoever, you know. That's like, why we're here, Arf. We're here to take care of the people. Right, we're here. Be a voice, you know. For unity. Yeah, for unity's sake. A, a bigger and better just cause. And a bigger and better tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> Man, it's been great. I just yeah. want to thank all the people that have been watching. I want to thank you for coming again and just sharing your, your knowledge and energy with us. And I'm just so excited to continue to do this and build our set. And we're so happy you guys join us. Um, it's truly one of the best days of my week really sitting here with you man. I, I love sitting here every wednesday it's uh, truly an honor i'd yeah. like to give a shout out to my dad all right october 8th happy birthday yeah, george yeah happy birthday from the harbor <laughs> <laughs>